Welcome back to Mr. Red Dragon 543 and we have actually are able to do this quest now. So uh yeah, uh I guess um if you accidentally decide to uh kill them uh <laughs> let's just say um you are not able to uh, access their clan until you uh, respawn them in. So if you accidentally, if you don't see Orphis where she is now, I suggest going to Cassidus Inn and sleep for seven days. Um, so that way you are more able to get this quest. It is a missable quest and it is part of the hero trophy which um, is pretty annoying. Um, that's the one thing is that there's a lot of missable quest and it's really fucking annoying. Uh, but luckily now all we just gotta do is we just gotta go to the other side now and then because I, like I said, um, I guess how it works is if you, <laughs> if, uh, if you kill Orphis or Maul or whoever you're trying to join with, uh, you cannot enter their, uh, clan. And if you go for the female bandits, you have to have either a female party or dress up and drag so yeah that is something you have to kind of do oh, which sucks but hey I guess uh, they did that in the old time so uh, I guess I'll fucking know yeah so yeah I just gotta kill 10 of these bandits Magic power, killing all the time. Magic power, <laughs> fuck these guys. Yeah. So that's probably like, what, nine? Like I said, you want to do these quests um, just because um, you can. Oh, fuck, that did pretty much nothing. See, what, what I like about this game is your primary, like, when you use your attacks, it doesn't use stamina because they're basic attacks. See, I like that much more than how um, a lot of the other games have it where it's like, you know, everything you do pretty much has to use stamina, which can be pretty stupid. Not gonna lie, that's kind of fucking annoying. Let this black pod die so fucking easy. Alright. And then afterwards, uh, I gotta make sure that I. Oh, sorry, Draken. Alright. Now, I just gotta go to the. Go back to here. Um, I guess I can also feed the. Um, Ogre as well, I could start that. Stabby stab stab. 
Like I said, I didn't realize that uh, I accidentally killed the one lady. Um, so I guess what happened was uh, when you start this quest, um, it, it, it is a very missable quest too. Like there's a few quests that I'm doing that are very missable. Um, if you fail lost and found, there's like five or six quests that you wind up missing, which is really, um, it really sucks. Like you, you miss out on witch hunt, uh, metal against metal. You miss out on, um, what else is it? So you miss out against those, you miss out on um, Dragon's Tongue, which allows you to get the, the Arisen's uh, Bond, uh, which pretty much makes it easier to get uh, affinity with people. So that way uh, you you can like befriend people quicker, I guess. Um, and if you ever want like um, specific characters to be like uh, with you, you can do that. Um, what else? I know Reynolds, the character that does that. I know um, or like a lot of the NPCs, they can do that. Um, Let's see. I want to save here for a minute and then talk to her just to see if I can feed the tr uh, ogre as well. I guess you can do that. It's a choice though. Like you don't have to, but uh, if you want to um, see like the difference between everything, it's a good idea to see it all first so that way you know what you're doing. Um, Yes, yeah, so now I can do that. Save content. Except. Whoa! I forgot about that. Alright. So, now, if you notice, I have fake SVs. And what this allows me to do is I can also feed the the bandit uh, so that will also um, uh, like I think you get a better reward if you do both I'm not too sure on that um, I could be really wrong <laughs> like but it's one of those choice things so uh yeah so what you gotta do is you gotta go all the way over here. Miss Mick Hunt. Um. Oh, nice. That's a giant patch of gold. Um, yeah, so it's. I also have a Drake's tier and a Wavern's tier, which is really good for, um,. Picking up rare items. Uh, when I get back to the post game, I'm going to try to get uh, a worms tier, which I believe is either a purple or a blue orb. I don't even know if they have blue orbs, but um, it's probably going to be purple then. But um, yeah, if you have all three, it allows you to get um, a lot more enemy drops and a lot more better ones at that. So it increases the value of the drops and I found out uh, from the Ur dragon if you kill the dragon online uh, you have more of a chance of uh, what is it you have more of a chance of all right so yeah you want to do is you want to all right so now you want to take this goblin here go into here 
then you want to feed the um, ogres. Um, I'm not sure where to put it, it just shows a circle, so. There you go. Yeah, port back to Beth. And Orpheus. So I'll probably report back to Orpheus first, since she is the leader, and she's a lesbian, well, bisexual, pretty much. Pretty much um, in her bio, like if you ever read the bios of the characters, um, she's uh, she prefers very feminine things, so she's most likely very lesbian, or if not bisexual to the gray where pretty much like she's the bisexual gray area where she prefers v like woman and very feminine males so yeah <coughs> it's interesting to note that <coughs> in these games they have little sneaky stuff like that uh, see, that's the thing. If you're gonna uh, put stuff in games like that, it's better to have it hidden instead of in your face because then it makes it more impactful, I guess, or more interesting. Because once you have stuff in people's faces, it's like you kind of lose that, like, ah, or that, like, insight. You know, it becomes very <laughs> bland. Alright, so. Going to talk to. Alright. Alright. Uh, I think I can talk to her as well. Uh, where does she go? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. So yeah, that was thick ass thieves. Not thick ass thieves. Even though <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. But yeah, um. So yeah, that was the thick ass thieves guild uh, quest.